Him on brakes, he's already in front as they head into the braking zone, and it will be Pratama that will make his way through the final corner onto the final lap. Pratama from Danish, from Thompson, from Wakamatsu, from Azawa, this leading group of five, they're going to go to war here. They are indeed. So, ultimate lap, I'm not so sure, but Danish, does he want to strike at turn one? It looks like he does, and the number 13 then is going to move through into the race. Danish, of course, looking to retake control in the cup standings. Pratama has got absolutely nothing to lose. He's well out of championship contention. He can throw course into the wind, and Danish is on the grass on the exit of the penultimate corner. Can you believe it? He's going to lose all of his drive and hand it to Pratama, but he'll bury himself. Pratama, can he manage to find a way through on the brakes? Unbelievable drama here then. He's going for it, the number 13. And able to close that door. And who is going to win this drag to the line? It's going to be so close. It's Danish versus Pratama. And it looks as though the Malaysian has done it. The Malaysian has done it. Here comes Pratama. He's not close enough. It's victory for Hakim Danish. Despite being on the grass at the penultimate corner, he's so... Three points in it. Absolutely. The, the swings of the pendulum this weekend. Danish came into the weekend. Seven points. points. And now we will leave Sepang with Danish having jumped back to the top of the standings. Only three points clear. Three points.